Hi Aquarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. I'm sorry I haven't been able to go out. I'm missing you all very much this last week and I hope to be very very soon early next week back in uh, on the air and I hope you will enjoy this video meanwhile meantime I'm taping this on Saturday morning the 17th of um, October and this is your reading for the 19th to the 25th of October and I will be going um, live uh, and doing a marathon and I have to change location in order to get internet I'm sorry for I'm missing you dreadfully remember be sure that I miss the lives and I miss you all very much so that's why I will be taping this at home and uploading it on the other location and hopefully I will get some of the readings out and the rest will be out ASAP okay it's a headache it's a drama I'm sorry to uh, not be in the air I love you all stay safe and take care of yourself okay the first card that you have is the ace of wands whoa new job new beginnings that this could also be a new passion or a new hobby or a work and the card the ones stand for action passion so you are going to start something up new and you're really going for what you want great stuff you've got fire in you okay be careful though because we have mercury retrograde pluto has just uh, detracted in from the retrograde but i believe mars is in retrograde and mars is the planet of masculinity and war so be careful what you say and what you do and that's why we've got the hermit here use your wisdom use your life experience retreat meditate contemplate and evaluate situations don't jump into the frying pan that is what I'm literally hearing if somebody's provoking you walk away from their drama and retreat okay evaluate the situation and also when you're meditating on contemplating throw away what is of no use to you anymore so that you can throw away the old and let in the room and let in the new make room for the new after all it's number nine so there is an ending and there is a new beginning where there is an ending there's a new beginning you show wisdom wisely okay now we've also got um the five of wands and a lot of readers say that is the card of disagreements and uh, arguments well I say it's the card of uh, competition and I've only heard one reader use that it if you look at the um, uh, the traditional tarot then you will see five men joisting with the wands so that is to me speaks more like competition but be aware of arguments like I said uh, with this action around you with the ace of wands if somebody's provoking uh, you walk away from their drama if they ask uh, you for help then by all means uh, uh, help but don't get involved in their tantrums and their pushiness or determinedness okay determination is lying just above you <coughs> don't let anybody dictate, dictate or rule to you be aware of the competition you're not in balance perhaps so mm, they might not be in balance definitely not if they are trying to pick arguments with you okay you've got the queen of ones there it could be a queen of ones and the queen of ones is Leo so they could be pushy she is definitely a lady with determination um, and um, what's the word I'm looking for the word um, determination
with their uh, determination, compulsiveness, they want something now, preferably yesterday. You know, sometimes the uh, fire signs get carried away because they've got an idea and they jump into action and they think they know everything and they want it right now. They're very um, creative people because of they stand for creativity. They, it's like my mum used to say, don't worry. You can, it's like knitting a jumper. If the sleeves are too short, you can always add a bit on. And that's being flexible and adjustable. So that wor those words come into it as well. Be flexible, be adjustable, but also stay in balance. Okay? Retreat to maintain your balance. And they will just have to respect you by because you are setting your boundaries in that way and also with fire signs know their boundaries so that there won't be any sparks flying about anywhere the five of wands so this could be a leo but don't exclude sagittarius or aries okay and then we have the Queen of Wands twice. So look at that. She represents the Leo, like I said. And perhaps she's as quiet and gentle as a panther. Ooh, nice one. I love the way these pictures shout out. And they're so complimentary. The, the colors are so vibrant. They just jump off the cards. And that's the Star Tarot. And I think it's amazing. This one is the Pagan Pharaoh, uh, uh, Tarot. And that's also beautiful. And look, she might be putting really heavy duty on you. You have the Ten of uh, Ones. And it says oppression. Yes, like I said, you might be forced by a fire sign, the Queen of Wands, or somebody that is determined in what they want. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, of course, but it could be happening even in November when we're going into the fire sign, the last fire sign of the season of the year. So this could be also a warning. Be careful, there will be action and there will be fire pretty, pretty soon. And we've got it lying in the second week and the third week. And this is really um, uh, from the 19th of October <coughs> to the 25th. So, oh, I've just woken up. We are going into Scorpio. The energy will be changing, okay, from Libra to Scorpio. But it could even last into um, November. And we are changing third. There's fire signs all over the place. But it is the third week here, the second. It could You could already be feeling it the second or the third week in November. That is, if it's not happening now, it could even last to the f first, second and third week of November. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. So you might be having heavy, um, heavy <coughs> issues at the moment or you might have a lot of turmoil around you and you're carrying the responsibility. And I can see why, because you might be as strong as a lion. Perhaps you are worried or uh, a lion is giving you, a Leo is giving you this burden. Don't worry, the 10 is an ending and there is new beginnings. Don't give up now, you've come so far. You are stronger than you think. Wow, this is magic how these readings are, I think so. <coughs> You've got the Eight of Wands. Your reading is fire, fire, action, creativity. Perhaps the, this week um, there will be a lot of demands on your creativity to uh, be creative, to um, console a Leo, or perhaps um, 
being staying positive and carrying and nurturing this Leo or this person that needs your strength but be careful don't be manipulated okay don't be manipulated Aquarius because air and fire can certainly make sparks fly because the air gives the fire opportunity to suck in the air and burn much quicker and spread so be careful keep the um, uh, let me have a look keep that water because you've got the two of water keep that balance um, around you so retract return uh, do a retreat so you keep the balance don't get burnt you've got the eight of wands which means that you will be receiving news and you've got news here this is the no sorry that's not uh, sorry no that was um, Capricorn they had the pages and the princess and all that but you will things are going to happen swiftly and not all not just rain it will pour like I said you might have a heavy load but you will be receiving news okay you will be going for what you want <coughs> perhaps uh, there is a Leo or a Sagittarius or an Aries pushing you but don't let them push you too far stand your ground you are stronger than you are like the lion she is the Leo she represents Leo and Leo in the tarot is eight and is the strength card remember you are stronger than you are the new beginning is just around here you might be moving home you might be finding trouble or issues with this move because of the Kovic for, for example but you could also be going on holiday or traveling for work because you've got action 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 and you might want to fight the competition because you want to keep your job or your business going you might even be partnering up with somebody as we have the two of cups on Saturday and Sunday this could be marriage this could also be partnering up in business maintaining that balance emotional balance definitely and mm, that passion or love going boom lovely you also have the four of ones so this passion it, if it's a, a romantic relationship this passion is changing into a steady relationship wow you might be getting married you might be getting that proposal you've got the two of cups you've got your soulmate you might be strong uh, Aquarius because you know when to retreat and how to keep the balance and not to get into somebody else's drama but don't be somebody else's backbone either or doormat don't let anybody else manipulate you or force you into doing things that you don't want to do that's why I'm saying let them know what your boundaries are you can change them every day but let them know and know what their boundaries are in other words everybody changes their mood sometimes there is a little flame and sometimes there's fire a big fire so know your boundaries if you are not getting married then you could be celebrating something else perhaps this partnership in business or in love perhaps you're just from going out you might be getting engaged but the prospect of getting married is there okay this is a good bond that is a soulmate that will balance you and you will keep the balance but don't be somebody else's backbone don't carry their problems on your back otherwise there won't be equilibrium and like I said your hard work will pay off because you've got recognition boom you've got the three of Pentacles okay you, you are no longer in the beginning stages you've got recognition that means that you are qualified you could be qualified for this relationship they like I said you it's not just a passionate relationship anymore it's turning into something solid at the end of the week or in three weeks to four weeks time okay remember um, time is man-made 
I've got the tea leaf uh, cards out as well involvement with the law so if you have involvement with the law the law could be also the registry office don't always think of it negatively because law means municipalities and institutions for me like the swords so you could be getting uh, have to seek a prenuptial agreement law is the lawyer right or you might be going to the registrar office and we've got the basket recognition reward for merit well that is the three of pentacles that is being confirmed with the tea leaf reading card the bowl plenty of material things your hard work is paying off that is what I already said with the three of pentacles you've got the recognition you might get promotion boom awesome and you've got a golden card You've, and I said you might be going on holiday or traveling for work well you have car protection safe journey Archangel Michael and his band of angels stand in protection over your car or loved ones car and this is the shield so this is the symbol of the shield this shield is symbolically presented to you by Archangel Michael as a powerful tool of protection. Archangel Michael is extremely vigilant when called on for protection when traveling on the road. He asks you make him uh, he asks that you make him a regular passenger in the car even if there is no spare seat. He will sit on the bonnet or roof happily if you click your seatbelt in place Cl uh, request Archangel Michael's presence maybe even set up with Archangel Michael that he's automatically in arrives when your seatbelt clicks in visually surround your car or a loved one's car with a solid golden cushion of light golden light is particularly angelic and very powerful protective energy so when you go and travel then say Archangel please join me on my travels and protect me and or of a loved one I think this reading is awesome I wish you lots of happiness and luck and my beautiful Aquarians you are one of my top viewers and followers thank you Thank you, and I hope you to see you very quickly again. Life. Love you, and take care. Bye-bye. Please like and share, and subscribe, and hit the bell and all, and set your settings correctly in your device and in YouTube.